up guys, Mike the Code here. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually read an algorithm textbook. So let's get right then into it. By the way, I got this video from how to absorb a textbook like a sponge. I'll put that link somewhere down there in the description. So most of the stuff, what I'll be saying will be related to that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain how to actually read an algorithm textbook. It's more similar to how you would read a math book and less similar to how you would read a novel. Okay, so let's get right into it. So here we have a book, Introduction to Algorithms by CLRS. So this is like the golden book of algorithms, okay? What most people use. There's all the algorithm books you could use. This is just the one that I'm gonna give an example for. So let's say we're in this book and I want to learn insertion sort, okay? So this is getting started, okay? So what do I do first? Number one, do not actually read anything first. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna directly skip all the way to the end, okay? So we're gonna skip to the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the exercises first because if we read the exercises, then generally the exercises explain, um, basically when we're doing the exercise, actually tests our, tests our knowledge of the subject. And then if we actually do the exercises, then we'll actually remember, try looking at the exercise first and finding the solution in the text and do these hard problems, we're more likely to remember the text, right? Generally exercises are there to help you remember the material and, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So here we're gonna read the exercise first. So in this case, we're going to um, illustrate the operations of insertion sort on this array. This time, rewrite the insertion sort procedure to sort non-increasing instead of non-decreasing order. Considering the searching problem, we have given an array value in V. Uh, in index I is AV is AV if the special V does not appear in A. Okay, so now here, write a linear search that scans through the sequence looking for V. Use loop invariant, prove your algorithm's correct, okay? So these are these are three problems. And the fourth one, the last fourth one problem is consider the problem of adding two binary numbers, storing two element arrays A and B. The sum of the two integers should be stored in binary form from the n plus one element in C. State the problem formally and write pseudocode for adding the two integers. Okay, so just after reading these exercises, um, so what, what do I have to do? So let's say, well, first of all, the first problem, I probably have to look for um, how to actually use insertion sort. So I would actually need to learn how, like how to insertion sort works on an array. Second one problem is probably have to learn how to rewrite the insertion sort procedure, rewriting it in, ter in terms of um, decreasing order instead of increasing order. Um, the third one is just to try to write a linear search algorithm. So I probably need to, find a linear search inside the uh, the text. Um, the fourth one is adding two binary digits and storing them into a final array and writing a pseudocode for it. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, I look at the exercises and I'm gonna try to write, think about in simpler terms of what the qu question is asking. Understand what the question is. So if you could just break down the problem in, in simple terms, like you, you don't need any of these garbage nonsense, right? Then um, we're more likely to do the problem, okay? So now that I've read, read all the exercises, I'm gonna look back, okay? And then I'm just gonna flip through these. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the front, and I'm just gonna flip through. So I'm gonna just flip through, see see what I have to do. So, oh, damn, we have cards here, okay? And then we have, we have this, this algorithm of solve the sorting algorithm. See, you see this format that might, this format might be the one that will help us for our linear searching problem. So maybe we'll look through that. Here um, we have just have these stuff. Maybe this is explaining the algorithm. Oh, okay. Here we have the insertion sort algorithm. So it tells us the insertion sort algorithm. And oh, loop invariant. Okay, so maybe we have to do stuff here. Okay, we have maintenance and terminations. Just flipping through it. Just, just literally just flip through it. Flip through it. Okay, pseudocode convention. Okay, so maybe we, we need to do stuff here. Uh, so on, so on. So here, we're just gonna flip through it. Okay, so now that we flip through it, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the titles of every single um, thing. So here, go back to it. All right, so we're gonna read titles or boldface. So now we're gonna read insertion sort, okay? So we definitely know this is probably insertion sort. Sorting problem, okay, so maybe this is like the format. And remember that previous problem, I think the third problem, we might need to go back here to, in order to find it to, to solve the problem of this solution. So we might actually have to look back here. Okay, uh, insertion sort, 
here is insertion sort, and here we present the pseudocode for the algorithm in place. Okay, so I might need to know what in place is. So remember, we're looking at boldface now. Okay, so here, okay, for loop. So I might need to look at a for loop. Okay, so then, okay, this is a good diagram. Maybe this is explaining how insertion sort works. The pseudocode for to whatever loop invariance correction of insertion sort. So this is a this is loop invariant in, in the correctness of insertion sort. And remember that was one of the problems that we had to do. I think it was problem four. So if I read through this, this probably would help me understand problem four. Okay, so then these are like the steps of the algorithm probably. So here we see initialization, maintenance, termination. So I might need to know these. And then after they have these, I'm guessing this is defined what there are. They're just showing how this works on the algorithm. So initialization, maintenance, um, termination. Okay. Oh, and then we have pseudocode conventions. So maybe this is explaining how what you're supposed to write in a pseudocode. Oh, we have for a while, while for repeat until if else. Okay, these are job for. Okay, so we have that. Uh, down to for a while. Okay, so we have this. Okay, objects, attributes. Okay. Procedure by value. Okay, maybe we need to know that. I'm sure though. Okay, return, most return, return, short circuiting. We might need to know that. Not sure. Error. Okay. So now that I've flipped through and I read the titles of everything, read the bold face now, and I read the titles, I'm gonna actually gonna go back and just read the first sentence of every single paragraph because that way I'm more likely to understand it okay so i'm just going to read the first sentence of every single paragraph that's going to take a long time so i'll probably come back to it and do that but we're going to read the first uh, sentence of every single paragraph okay so now let's say uh you are we already read, read through uh the first sentence of every single paragraph then what we're going to do is we're actually going to just sit down and do these exercises while we're looking back to the textbook and try to find how to do them from reading reading the textbook right so yeah we're just going to do these exercises there's only four of them and then after that we'll go back to the textbook and yeah we'll just do it after you finish reading the problem and finishing doing the exercises um all you have to do is look online for if there's any solutions for the problem and just see how different yours is to the solution and then if there isn't um then you mark it as right and if it's wrong try to learn why you got the problem wrong okay and don't read remember don't read from front to back you could just try to pick a chapter any chapter skip through it and you could jump around chapters to try to learn material you don't have to go from start to end so yeah like if i want to learn dynamic programming or even heaps property i'll just skip to it and just do the exercises and yeah and then that's it uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video uh rate comment subscribe and i'll check you guys later and yeah, by the way, if there's any issue with like certain math notations that you don't know, try to look them up on other resources to see if that will help you. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.